Hello, I'm Royal Caribbean International Chief Meteorologist James Van Fleet. A big question you're likely asking is how are all these key decisions being made in regards to Hurricane Irma, where you're located in the world on the ship, and getting back home? A team of about 100 people talking in multiple meetings nonstop on how are we making decisions with the data and where we're going with our ships. So let's talk a little bit about some, how this, some of these key decisions are made. A lot of it starts with the latest data from Hurricane Irma. And we're talking about the Hurricane Reconnaissance Air Force planes, the Hurricane Hunters that you know of. This is a flight from earlier on Wednesday as it was happening. And let me show you a little bit about what you're looking at. The numbers in the 900s, those are pressure readings. The lower that number goes, the stronger the storm is. And by comparison, typical surface readings back in the U.S., you might see in the thousands, 1010, 1023. So to see in the low 900s is a very big storm. And some of the strongest on records go in the upper 800s. But we're wanting to show you the flight paths here, the figure fours that you're looking at. If you just look at a piece of this, that looks like an upside down four. That is instrumental in these flights because it allows them to send out instruments in the bottom of the plane in each sector of the hurricane. So we get a measurement on that right quadrant, left quadrant, and we put the whole puzzle together to figure out how strong is Irma in pressure, winds, and what's going on in the eye. On top of that, when we get these readings, where does that go? Then what does that tell us? Well, that feeds into the models which you're likely seeing on television. This is the European model, one of the many that we're using in the forecast. And it gives you a general idea of what we might see in the days ahead. Another model that we're looking at would be the American model. And, for example, with this, the placement a little farther east. So that's why there's still time to watch this, and the exact placement of the eye is still being figured out in the forecast because we've still got a few days to work with. But all of those reconnaissance readings are feeding into these models and then they're spinning out their best educated guess on where we think it will go. Now add to it, we're also looking at what the storm is doing with sensors over the Virgin Islands that we've already seen it pass around Puerto Rico. That also feeds into the forecast track. So as we get closer to the weekend, we're going to have a much better idea of where this will land in the days ahead. So with all of this data and all of these resources to put the puzzle together, there's really three things to watch for in the days ahead to figure out where Irma is going to go. Let me show you. The first, very simple to understand, a cold front. The farther south it goes, the sooner we could see a turn with Irma. And why is that the case? Very much like you use the steering wheel in your car, you turn it, the car turns. Where this front goes, will open up a lane to allow Irma to steer where she will go. So as I play this out for you, let me show you this front. As it moves off to the east, notice these blue lines. That is part of the pressure difference. High pressure out in the east, low pressure with the front. And in between the two, note how these blue lines start to turn north. That's why you're seeing that turn north for the path in the forecast from the Hurricane Center. So the second thing we're watching is where does this lane open up? The front is one, the lane right here where you see these lines turn north, but a third deciding factor are these blue lines right here. That is the high pressure behind the cold front. And why that's important, the stronger that high is, the more of a push to the right you would see with Irma. So the three work in conjunction together, and in the days ahead, that is very simply the deciding factor of when Irma turns to the north. Is it in the Bahamas? Is it over Florida? All of that is still to be determined, and we still have time to work with. But where that lane opens up is where Irma will go. So we'll be updating these videos a couple times a day. We're talking to your captain a lot more than that. So when you hear from him, you're getting the latest information to keep you safe.